Hey everyone, Leo with Dreaming Tree, and welcome to the assembly video for our Wisteria Paperscape card. Something completely different, and I'm very excited to bring this to you because it is gorgeous, and it's going to be very easy to assemble if you've made a box card in the past. Uh, this is going to be a cakewalk for you. So here is the main base. As you can see, um, I've opted to use the solid scoreline version, which I think you should as well, especially on cards. Uh, I typically reserve that for cards and envelopes, and I do prefer the uh, perforated versions for uh, our 3D projects. So this piece here, uh, this is going to be your background. So here we just chose kind of like a, a pastel-y color, uh, but you can, if you have like a, a sheet where you have some sort of a nature scene or something, you can definitely add that. I think that would look cool. And what we're going to do is we're going to glue this down flat like so. And we just want to make sure that we, for the most part, are on top of these little slits. Because all of the various little mechanisms that we're going to put in here require that we get through here and get through these slits. So uh, let's just get that glued into place first. Okay, and you can, you can see how this needs to line up. Obviously, you've got one long slit here, a couple here. So that won't work, it has to go this way, okay? So let's do that. And it's gonna be important that we kind of keep that glue <clears throat> all the way out to the edges so this doesn't come pulling apart. Okay, of course we do also wanna get a little bit of glue on the inside as well. Okay, so let's match that up. Now I'm using a white pearlescent paper here and I've got my texture side out. Make sure just with your fingers that everything is nice and flush. And you can do this flat, but you also wanna make sure that it closes. Okay, so just make sure that you can close it as well. And again, make sure it's nice and flush, nice and centered. Okay, so after you ensure that it does close, take a, take a peek here and just also make sure that we didn't accidentally cover up the little slits. They should all be visible. So we're gonna take, you'll notice that these little sections have little tabs. We're gonna take one and pop it through. And then we'll take the other side and pop it through this one, the small little slit. Okay, and let's make sure that it closes. And it does. And then we're gonna take these tabs and we're gonna fold them towards the edge of the card, the front edge. Okay, and it should open and close like that. Okay, so we've got that in there. Again, make sure that it closes. Take these tabs and pull them forward. And then you can throw a little bit of glue right on that tab there. And then push it forward and press that down. Okay, and just keep holding it. We'll flip it over. Do the same thing on the other side. Just a little bit of glue right on that tab then push it forward towards the front of the card. Okay. And let's take a look here. Okay, you can see how nice that opens up and closes nice and flat. Okay, next we'll put the bridge in. Okay, now obviously the bridge needs to go up and down, not like this. Okay, and again, we have tabs here. We're gonna slide those through the little slits. Careful that you don't destroy your beautiful wisteria. Okay, and there is a fold right at the center of the bridge like that. Okay, so let's take and there's a little tab here. I wanna make sure that you fold that and press that flat up against the card just like this one before we close this up. Because we wanna make sure that it folds where it needs to. Okay, push that all the way in. Okay, and close that up just like that. Now I embossed my bridge so it's not as uh, firm and rigid as it would be if you didn't emboss it. But I'm gonna go ahead and put glue on the inside of the tab just like we did with the wisteria and press that down and hold it in place. Okay, give that a few seconds. We'll flip it over. Do the same thing on the other side and press that down. Okay, give that a few seconds. So don't jump the gun here. And there's the bridge. Okay, so that is the backmost layer 
Now there's one layer of water that's kind of in between. It's this one. You'll notice you have two. One's a little bit longer, one's a little bit shorter. Grab the shorter one. And I did take and um, I ink this as well with a little bit of blue. So just pop that in, just like we've been doing. Make sure it's in there. Go ahead and close it up. Make sure you don't damage it. And then take this tab, pull it over this way. Everything's going towards the front of the card. Let's take a look on the inside. Make sure that looks right. Okay, that one kind of slipped out. That's okay. I'm gonna just fix that. And pull that tab towards me, close it up. Make sure it sits nice and flat. And just like we've been doing, we'll throw a little bit of glue. Now, actually, let me make sure that I'm putting that. Yeah, that's the right one. Yeah, so the first layer of water goes on the tab that's more towards the center of the card. Okay, close that up, bring that tab over, press it down and hold. Just like that, we'll flip it over. We've got one more tab here. And bring that over, press that down and hold. All this stuff's gonna be covered up. We have some panels that are gonna go over that, but here you go, okay. So now that's opening up nicely, everything. You may wanna uh, spend a little extra time letting things dry. Um, I'm kind of, I'm, I'm going pretty quick here. And that could bite me in the behind. All right, we'll grab the next layer here, the wisteria. Slip that through. Try to ink this as best as I could. Uh, there's a lot of little details going on there, so it may not be possible to get every little inch, but do your best if you're gonna ink. All right, let's pull that through. Make sure it's through as far as it can go. Close it up. There we go. And we can, you may not want to pull that tab out all the way. Let's do the same thing here. Just throw a little bit of glue right on that tab and then just press that down into place and hold it. Now this again, this is a white pearlescent paper, uh, which almost has like, it almost has like a, a, a layer on top of it. It's like they sprayed it or something to make it like that. <clears throat> and things don't, don't they don't, they don't uh, stick as well as far as the glue. Eventually it will, but it's not like cardstock. Okay, so we'll flip it over to the other side. We've got the other tab to apply some glue to, and then again, pull that tab towards the front and press that down. Give that a few seconds. Probably should wait longer than I am. Okay, and there we go. Next layer, looking good. And then finally, uh, we do have this piece, but before we put this in, we have a green layer that we're gonna glue on top here, like so. You wanna just match that up like so. So let's flip that over and apply some glue to the back of this and glue that right here. You can see the little shadow section of that. It's almost like a little Bob Ross painting. It's kind of cool. Okay, great. So we've got that in place. I'm trying to see, that's it. Okay, so now we're gonna take this and slide that in to this little slit. It's the last slit. Okay, I'm gonna pull this out this way. And that's gonna go in here like that. Remember, we want these tabs facing towards the front of the card. Okay, so now it's closed, which is good. And we're gonna put glue right there on this part of the tab. Just like that, pull it forward, press down, and hold. And there we go. We'll flip her over, grab our last little tab, a little bit of glue, push that forward. And there we go. Okay. And, and that is what we end up with. Now, now that we have that, what we're gonna do, we have this piece, and this is kind of the, the little natural frame. This is gonna cover up this whole thing and kind of encapsulate it. And before we put this in place, now I ran this through an embossing machine. Um, we do have these little gold elements to kind of pretty up that natural frame. You'll notice that one of them has a little bit of, uh, a little bit of dirt there, or I should say grass. And that's where we're gonna glue this. Okay, so it 
the, the greenery kind of extends onto the frame. So let's get that glued onto, in my case, it's gold foil. Maybe you're not using gold foil, that's okay. You can use whatever you'd like. But we just wanna match that up as accurately as we can. Just like that, I'm gonna let this one set for a minute and glue that one down last. Okay, and in the meantime, now since I embossed this, it may be a little difficult to see, but there should be uh, little markers to help you with the positioning of these little guys. Let me see if I see them on the inside. I think that's, I think that's probably dry. What we're gonna do is we're gonna start with this one here. I thought we had markers on this piece, but I can't see them because I embossed. I embossed it, and sometimes when you emboss things, the markers just kind of disappear, and that's okay. But we're gonna put this one down first because we know exactly where it needs to go because part of the little landscape is built into this. The inside of this gold piece should be flush with the inside of this frame here. Okay, so that's how we know that we've got it in the right spot. Okay, now we can go over here to the other side and we just wanna put it pretty much right where that one is, just on the other side, like, a, like we're mirroring it. Okay, so just throw a little bit of glue on there and you can see how much distance you have from the center there. Try to mimic that on the other side while also making sure that you get it flush up against that little circular cutout there. There we go. And I wanna try to not blemish this foil with my gluey fingers. I don't think I will. There we go. Perfect. Give that a few seconds to set. And then you take and apply the top two layers. And we wanna just keep them within the little fold there. And there's gonna be a tiny little gap there and that's by design. It's very easy on the glue here, you don't need a lot. Okay, keep it inside the fold. If it helps, you can fold it over like this so that you can see that fold better so you don't go across that fold. Okay, and again, try to keep that nice and flush against the little cutout on the inside and hold that down for a few moments. Now I'm taking foil, which has kind of like a plastic backing and trying to glue it to a, another surface that doesn't really like stuff glued to it. So it might be a little bit of a challenge. I think if anything, I should just be a little patient while things dry. And on these little pieces, just make sure you get glue out to the very edge or very ends of these, right where the little round tip is. Okay, there we go. Get that nice and lined up. Pardon my head if it's in the way. Sometimes when I do detailed work like this, I gotta get my noggin in there. I'm sure you understand. There we go. And gotta bring that in a little bit. There we go. Okay, hold that in place. Give that a few seconds to set. I've got a beautiful gold frame around our seam or our scene. Okay, let's see, that looks good, okay. All right, so now these tabs here on both sides, are actually gonna, you're gonna tuck those in, and those, you can see a couple things here. There's one marker here, okay, and that's gonna be, you're gonna match that up to the front edge here, and this tab is actually going to sit flush up against the background, and when you pop that in place, that should match up perfectly with that little score mark there at the bottom, and mine does. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna glue one side of this into place at a time. I don't wanna do both. We'll just get one in place, make sure that it's nice and anchored, and then make sure that your little uh, mountain here is at the bottom, not at the top. Okay, and we're gonna pop that right into place, flush up against our background, make sure you got it all the way in there, nice and flush, nice and centered. Okay, and you can kind of push down on the inside there. Now once it's got it, you can fold this back out 
to really press down. Okay, so as you can see here, I've got that one side in place. We're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna apply glue to this tab. You want that folded away from you. Get a nice amount of glue on there, not too much, just enough. And I'm gonna spread that nice and thin so it dries faster. And again, the edge of this is gonna go flush up against the edge of this background piece. Okay, could be a series of mountains, maybe, I don't know, whatever paper you decide it is, I'm sure it'll be beautiful. Push it as far as it'll go up against that. Now, if it helps, grab yourself a nice dowel. Make sure it's not a mean dowel. Get a nice dowel and use that to kind of press that down. Now, before it completely sets, make sure it closes nicely, and mine does. And then once it's closed, you can really press down. And that will ensure that everything stays in place. Now, I kind of blemished my card a little bit. Luckily, we're gonna be putting panels all over this thing, so it's not gonna, not gonna cause any problems. But there you go. Okay, so the inside is done. And again, I am going to make sure that I am patient here and I don't jump the gun. But in the meantime, what we can do, that is so pretty actually, look at that, so cool. Okay, uh, we do have two panels that are gonna go inside. Uh, you'll notice that one has markers on the bottom right, one has markers on the top left. The one with markers on the top left is gonna go here because we're gonna end up putting a little butterfly here. So let's just get that in place. Let's go ahead and apply our glue. There we go. And we do have a series of markers here to help you with the centering of this panel. Um, you can eyeball it too, just as long as you maintain an even border all the way around. That's what we're looking for. And you can see how beautiful that looks in there. Great place for uh, your little message, a stamp, whatever it is that you decide you're gonna add to this. Um, recently, I did a video on using your pens to write. You could do that as well. Okay, again, bottom right-hand corner is where the little marker is on this piece. Okay, we're gonna pop that in there. And also the inking on this is fantastic. I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to act all cool here, but it really adds to it. And again, use those little markers to help you with the placement. Okay, and press that down into place. Beautiful, even white border all the way around. Lovely contrast. And look how beautiful that is. I am so happy with that. Okay, so let's close this up. And we just need to put the front and back on this card. And then finally, um, we have some embellishments, obviously, that we're gonna add to this. Uh, one thing here for the front, it's two layers. Uh, we've got this layer here. Okay, you'll notice that there's like two little um, arrows down here. That's for your print and cut caption. And guess what? We're gonna include some bonus ones. This one comes with thinking of you, um, but we're gonna add it, we're gonna do some extras as a bonus release, of course. Uh, so what we're gonna do here is glue this to our gold, uh, our gold foil, because that looks nice, adding a ton of bling without having to do much work, it's always fun. And let's throw a little bit of glue around the perimeter here. Okay, and then we'll try to get a little bit also inside. Watch out for those little holes. Try not to get glue in them or on them. Okay, very carefully. Again, I'm, I'm, I've got one shot to get this on here. Can't really move it around too much because it's gonna, it's gonna slide around a ton. There we go, perfect. And I need to be patient and wait for this to really set. Cardstock on top of foil is a game of patience. And I can see that it still, still gives me time to make any little adjustments that I need. So this, um, this paper that we got here, uh, I forget, let me see here. This is from Ethereal by Ella and Viv. And let's 
just kind of like a watercolor pastel-y sort of print. And I ink this with a little bit of pink. Uh, there's a lot of pink in, in this card. And I wanted to kind of continue that with the inking. So sometimes with a piece like this, you ask yourself, well, what, what, what color do I use to ink it? Um, something that probably doesn't stand out too much, but blends in nicely, I think, was probably the solution. Okay, so there are some elements on here that are going on flat. Actually, it's really just the caption. So while this thing is still flat and not on the card, I'm going to glue this on. Uh, you could, I guess you could probably, probably use um, a foam square or something if you want, but I'm going flat and just pop that right between those two little arrows. That's going to help you ensure that it's nice and straight. Beautiful script font in blue. And again, like I said, we're going to include um, some bonus content for that. Beautiful white border around here. So this is going to get glued to the front now. Okay. So let's take this and apply our glue. And pop that into place. It's going to cover up all of these tabs. Don't forget, we want to maintain an even border all the way around. So give that a little nudge if necessary. We do have markers to help you with the placement. So use those if you don't trust your eye. Okay, there we go. Press that down. Okay, and then we have this piece for the back to cover up all of these tabs to make that look nice and finished. Let's go ahead and apply our glue and get that in place. Just make sure you're getting that glue out to the very edge here. And I'll show you one little, another little tip just to make sure that everything sits nice and flush. Use those little markers. We do have markers to help you with the placement in case your sense of uh, creating a even border is kind of failing you. That's okay. We'll get you. Okay. Press that down. You can press it down from the outside. Now there are little areas here where it won't sit completely flat because of all this stuff going on in here, which in this case, what you can do is just take and use a little dowel to push down from the inside to really help it make contact throughout. Okay, just be careful you don't destroy any of the uh, elements inside. And now that looks nice and flush. Okay, very cool. All right, so now uh, we do have some elements on the front. We also have some elements in the back. Let's open this up and on the inside. Now, when, when your recipient opens it up, they can open it more than 90 degrees. I would just probably keep it like that. That's the idea is for it to be in, in the shape of a box. Okay, but let's find, let's find this element here. Okay, and as you can see, I kind of, I ink this a little bit. There's not much room for inking, but I did my best. I'm going to take a dowel, place one of these leaves between my finger and the dowel, curl it up about 45 degrees, and just kind of run the dowel through just to give it a little bit of life. Okay, you can do the same thing with this guy here, but be very careful. This is a delicate little piece. We're trying to really push the boundaries of what these machines can do lately with these designs, um, which, you know, sometimes you, when you do that, you do have some pieces that are a little more um, well, fragile. And I'm doing the same thing here, except what I'm doing is I'm taking each of the petals and I'm just pushing it up against the dowel just to curve it a little bit. Now, obviously when this card, when you close this card, um, it's gonna flatten out. So you don't need to put that much curve on it, but we can bring it to life a little bit. It'll, it'll keep that memory. Okay, so now here you can see the little, uh, little score lines there. You wanna just tuck that right in there. Those little score lines are gonna meet up right in the center where the petals meet. And actually, I goofed up. I'm gonna take that off, good thing. Let's put some glue on this. This needs to go down first. And those little score marks are actually gonna go right in here where the little circle meets the leaves. Okay, and that's not a problem. Just like that. And now we can put our flower in place. Get that nice and centered. And of course, what a perfect little spot for uh, some bling. Okay, and the rest of this 
is butterflies, okay? So we have one, two, three, four butterflies. And you'll notice that there are some score marks on these butterflies so that you can kind of fold the wings out a little bit. What I would do, since the, the score lines are kind of, they're kind of tough to work with, I would maybe just put a dowel in there to kind of hold it down while you pull it in initially. You don't even need to fold it all the way. You can, uh, but again, it's so, it's such a uh, delicate little piece that I wouldn't worry too much about it. The folds are there just to sort of help it get into shape, but not necessary at all. Okay, and we have, uh, let's see, we have four butterflies. The largest butterfly, we're actually gonna glue right about here, okay? I'm gonna pop him right about there. And I'm gluing, this is that specialty paper. I'm just gonna throw a little bit of glue right on his body. And that's gonna go right about here, like so. Be very careful, especially if you're using gold foil like I am. And actually we need to keep him inside of the boundary. Okay, he could be sticking out a little bit. It's not a problem if a little bit of his wing is sticking out. You probably wanna keep it inside though. Okay, so there you go, we've got that. We're gonna put one butterfly here. I'm gonna grab, uh, let's see, probably, let's go with the smallest one there. Okay, and that one's gonna go right here on this panel, just down here like that. Watch out for his little antenna. Those are also very delicate little pieces. Again, trying to keep things, keeping it real, as the kids say. Okay, we're gonna pop that guy right about here. Just like that. It's very gentle. Whoops. Pop that right back on there. Okay. Let that set. There we go. And we're gonna take one more. Uh, let's see. Uh, we'll use well, let's see, how about, how about this pink one? I don't wanna do pink on pink, so I'm gonna put this guy right here, okay? So let's throw a little bit of glue, and you can put these anywhere you want, obviously. These are just suggestions based on the original concept and design, okay? And again, that's gonna go right here. You can kind of cover up that little gap, and he can be sort of crawling into the frame a little bit. Okay, there we go. And last but not least, we have, and you can actually see that there's a there's some little score marks there to help you with the placement of this butterfly. And I picked this one here uh, because it gives me the best contrast against the pink. Okay, let's clean that off. Got some glue on my fingers. I'm sure you guys know what that's like. And just use the little marker there to help you with the placement. Press that down. Okay, we can pull the wings back up a little bit, and there you have it. Okay, so that's the inside. Now, obviously, you don't want to bring the wings up too much because then when you close the card, you may damage the wings, and we don't want to do that. But you should be able to close it without damaging it and see. So that's already closed, and when we open it up, they're still somewhat dimensional, which is exactly what we want. Don't forget to put a little bling there. The back is done, and now all that's left to do is embellish the front, and we just have some flowers to add to that. And then, of course, we do have an envelope, which we will get to here in just a second. Okay, and let's take a look here. We have, we've got this guy here, and on this, on this flower, we do have this blue little flower that we need to glue to the green. And my nozzle's getting all caked up. Let's flip that over, a few little dots of glue. Okay, and match that up right there. Beautiful, careful, This uh, you got some really delicate little pieces here, again, by design. And I'm gonna take and kind of give this a little bit of life too. You can do this with your fingers if you don't wanna risk damaging it. 
Okay, so this one with the little flower at the end on the green is actually going to go right here. Okay, and you can see there's a series of little score marks there. And that's going to go right there like that. You can see this little flower should be right in between these little cutouts. And we'll all kind of rotate it a little bit. And for this, we just need to put a little bit of glue right on the circular part. And I wouldn't worry about putting glue anywhere else. Whoops, what was that? A little flower. Okay. And again, popping them right there in between the little markers that we have there for you. And press that into place. Hopefully, yep, I got it in the right spot. There we go. Okay, and press and hold that down. I want to give that, you can see there's a little bit of dimension on that. And hopefully that, when you put this in your envelope, you want to be conscious of the fact that these are, if you want to be safe, you can glue this all down. I'm leaving it like this because I know that when my recipient gets it, um, they're going to take it out of the envelope once. And it should come out without any problems. Okay, so now this one here, you'll notice that we have a set of markers right there. Okay, and it's going to go right here like so. There's like two little markers that are going to go right in between where the circle meets the leaves. And then you can see here naturally that the leaves do not interfere with these little, little uh, gold cutouts. So for example, here, you can see that's on top of it. That's not what you want. You wanna make sure that you are uh, giving all of the little cutouts here space. Okay, so again, we're gonna take this flipper over and just throw a little bit of glue right in the center. And let's find that little marker again. Pop that right in there. Like so, there we go. I can rotate that a little bit. Nice and delicate, perfect. Okay, also, uh, these five little blue flowers, these are gonna get glued down flat. We have a super tiny one. You can see there's a spot right there, right there, right there, and there's gonna be one on top of the caption. The largest one is gonna go right here uh, we've got one that's a little bit smaller than that one. It's going to go there. The smallest one is going to go here. And then the next to smallest is going to go there. And then we have two more flowers that are going to go right in the center here. Now, if you want, you can take and kind of curl these petals up a little bit to give them a little bit of dimension. Of course, like I mentioned, they're going to probably flatten out a bit when you put them in the envelope. So don't, don't spend too much time on that. And to really get that flower to stick there, you can use the tip of a very thin little dowel, or in my case, I've got a little skewer. You can use that as well. And again, with the flower, just put it between your fingers and press it, just kind of squeeze it to get those petals to pop up a little bit. One little dot of glue will hold it forever and ever. Okay, just get it right in there where the little score mark is, where the little markers are and just press that down into place. Don't forget, it's a perfect little opportunity here, a perfect little spot for some bling, small little pearl, rhinestone, whatever it may be. Let's do the same thing with this little guy. Curl him up. Little dot of glue, tiny little guy. And use the little marker there to help you with the placement. Let's press him down. There we go, and last but not least, and then we've got a couple more little flowers to put together. They're very easy, won't take long at all. A little dot of glue will do, right where those markers are. And press that down, just like that. Okay, looking good. Looks like it's missing something, huh? Well, it is. It's missing some flowers, and we're gonna fix that right now. Okay, so this guy here, we're gonna take, and I'm gonna take a little dowel. Uh, this is about, uh, about a quarter inch dowel. Place it between your finger and the, uh, well, place the pedal between the dowel and your finger. Bring it up about 90 degrees, run that dowel through very gently. You don't wanna pull too hard because 
It'll rip the pedal. I've done that many times. Okay, there we go. And we'll take this little star shape. Of course, we got some got an area there again in the center for some bling. But this guy's going to go right in the center of this flower, like so. And then we can take, and if you want, I think this card is thick enough to where, I don't know if we want to add any more dimension. You could get crazy if you're hand delivering it and you want to add some extra dimension to this, feel free to use a foam square or a pop dot, but I think that's plenty. And then for this guy here, do the same thing, except this time I'm just going to take and curl each of these petals in, like so. Just give them a little dimension. Again, when you put it in the envelope, it might flatten out, but it's okay. It'll remember a little bit of what we did as far as the training goes. Okay, and do the same thing here. We're gonna layer this, and we're gonna put one on top of the other, offsetting it just a little bit so that all the petals have their day in the sun, as they say. Okay, throw a little bit of glue right in the center, grab the other set, and again, you don't wanna put it right on top, you wanna rotate it a little bit so that the petals are not competing. Okay, you wanna make it as full looking as possible. Get that nice and centered. Take a look, that looks good, I think. Almost, there we go. And then you can take this top layer and kind of pull it towards you a little bit to create some separation. You can even take the back row and push it back a little bit. Okay, like that. And then finally, throw a little bit of glue right here in the center of our little green element. And pop that flower in place. Let that set, and there you have it. Okay, again, don't forget to add a little bit of bling to this. You can see the front of the card opens up beautiful on the inside and it is ready to go now let me um let me show you how to put the envelope together it's real quick i've already pre-folded everything so all you need to do well let's actually put the flap in first so this guy here is going to go in like this and it's completely flush so just go ahead and apply our glue to the inside of the flap Okay, and I got my texture side out. I'm gonna take this and just kind of push it up against the fold. Make sure it's centered. Should be flush all the way around. Press that down. You gotta nudge this over a little bit. There we go. Okay. And we do have a little overlay for the butterfly here. You just want to match that up with the cutouts for the pink. In my case, pink. Yours might be a different color. And that's okay. Okay, just pop that into place. Matching it up with the cutouts. There we go. I use a part of my hand that I know I don't have any glue on just in case. We'll take these two sections, bring them in, throw a little bit of glue right here along the inside and here. Bring this up and press and hold. Okay. All right. And there is your envelope. And I'm not going to put this in, but you can see you've got plenty of room in there for this beautiful card and take a look at that. Stunning. So again, don't forget to add your bling uh, wherever you see fit, especially in the centers of the flowers. Uh, I don't know that it really is gonna need anything else, but that's gonna do it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys love this card as much as I do. And uh, if you make it, would love to see it. Head over to your Facebook, do a search for Dreaming Tree Official. It's where you'll find myself and over 40,000 other dreamers that inspire us daily. And if you enjoyed hanging out with me, please take a moment, visit us on YouTube, hit that subscribe button. While you're there, hit the little bell 
so you get notifications anytime I release a new product, whether it be paid or free. And with that said, I had a great time. I hope you did as well. And as always, I look forward to crafting with you again. Hey, thanks for crafting along with me. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, check out some of our other videos. And also, please consider hitting that subscribe button. And don't forget to visit our site and check out our free SVG section where we have over 140 free SVG files complete with assembly videos. I look forward to crafting with you soon.